Hello ROS developers, welcome to the ROS in 5 minute videos raised by the construct, your channel for everything ROS. And by the other and in this video we'll be looking at what is ROS said and then how to use and configure it. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find the link to this academy in the video description. Now let's get started with our work for today. And here I have a package called my robot control um, with two folders under it. And then we have two files directly under the main folder. So each of these folders has a file under it. Generally, if I wanted to change any file, especially using the robot in next academy, I just locate the file wherever it is, double click on it to open it in the editor and I can do my editing here. But there are times I don't even know where the file is located or I may just want to do a quick edit while on the command line because um, I don't want to switch. I'm running some commands and I want to make some little changes to my file. So in such cases, then enter ROSED which is a very simple editor for ROS. So in this case, I will type ROSED, my package name, which is my robot control. Then tab tab. Now with that, I get the name of all the files in my package, irrespective of the folder where they are. So in this case, it can be useful if I don't even know where the file is located. Or like I said, I just want to do a quick edit. So now let's pick one of them. Let's say my robot control. Okay, I want to edit this file. I press enter. So it opens the file for me in the default editor, which is Vim. And then I can do my quick edit and save. But in this case, I'm not doing any edit. So I can just quit the environment. But now you may want to use a more a, a more friendly editor like Nano for your edit. Rosted also allows you to configure that. So and um, in, to do that, you need to configure an environment variable known as editor. So let's go ahead and open up our bash RC file and then do the configuration there let's go down then i just add a line export editor because in this case i want nano you can type the name of the program you use here And then we save. And quit. So to make the changes effective, we quickly run source. Bash RC. And then let's try our command again. Ah, so this time we have the file opened in our beautiful and more easy to use nano editor. Great. So like I said before, if you are using the Robot Ignite Academy, you might not have to do that. But I just thought you find it useful to know that you have that option um, in ROS when you need it. And that was it. I will see you in the next video. So did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. You can also leave us your thoughts in the comments area. Peace out. Udabo.